What's up, you guys? Today we're going to be going over Neo. Neo has sold off today. We're down about five percent, and I will say that we did find a nice bottom around thirteen dollars and seventy-three cents. A lot of people are probably asking, "Is Neo a good short? Do we think that maybe we can see this thing back down at eleven dollars in the coming months, or is the trend still our friend, and are we going to make a potential higher high?" Guys, my name is Pete DiCarlo. I've been trading full time for the past eight years. I run a trading community with over 12,000 students called Traders Helping Traders. The link is in the description. It's completely free. And I help everyday retail traders become profitable, consistent, and most importantly, stress free. Now, looking at NEO, we're going to start on a four hour time frame. We're going to zoom out and we're going to look at the past six months and we're going to look at volume. This chart you see to your left is called a volume profile. If you want to know an in-depth analysis about it, once you're in our free Discord, go to the courses and seminars section and take our, you guessed it, free technical analysis course. It'll teach you everything that you need to know. There's a whole section based on volume profiles. But basically what this is going to show you is where the volume is coming in at, not just how many shares are being bought, but actually where are they being bought and sold. And this is very good because we want to trade with volume. And the reason for that is we are unable to move the market, so we need big money to move it for us. Now, looking at NEO, you can see that there is some volume right around here over on this left, basically between $15.36 and $14. That volume is basically the consolidation that we've been having since the end of July. But from there, there's really not a lot of volume at all from about $14 all the way down to $10.59 which means that this move, they happen quickly. And you can see, look what happened. Last time that we actually moved through this low area of volume, we actually broke out and rallied from $10.60 all the way back up to $14.09, which was literally a 32% return in three days. Now, I'm not saying that we're gonna get that massive creator within a couple of days, but you do have to understand, stocks move down twice as fast as they move up. And that's why it is so violent and so many people get ruined and it's so tough for risk management because they can hold on to their longs and just allow it to go up day after day. But most of the time, the shorts and the bleeding happen so fast that most people cannot process it. Now, looking at this here, we're currently holding under some important things. Number one, we're under the ATR, we're under the nine SMA, but we do have a nice consolidation zone that's forming here strong bounce and we could see 1370 and 14 dollars tomorrow become a good support zooming out and taking a look now on the daily chart you can see that we're actually going to close today under the nine sma which is not good our money flow index is pointing down on balance volume is pointing down but we still have the trend right since basically june we're still up i wouldn't say we're necessarily up trending at all but we have Come out of this descending wedge we've been pushing and we still have the momentum it's not like the volume's getting completely sucked out of this just yet so if you wanted to go long i mean yeah you have a case you could enter here you could set a stop loss down at 13 take profit at 1650 or 18 and of course this isn't long term long term i actually really think the palantir is i'm sorry not palantir neo i really think that uh neo is a company that is very 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 risky to be investing in any chinese company is very very risky due to potentially getting delisted as well as many other things so it's not something i would be investing in long term but the momentum recently is still to the upside so you could be playing that potential upside if you want to play the downside however you have two choices number one would be to just enter here and set your stop loss you know, right up here very tight up at 1490 and take profit down at 10 that's a four five to one rvr but your chances of getting knocked out are pretty high. If you wanted to have a better chance of profit, you'd pull it up to 1550 and your RVR is still 2.3. The other option, the more patient option, probably the better option, would be waiting to see if we pull back down to 1338 and break this green trailing stop. If we can hold under that, break under that level, have the 9 SMA catch back up, enter down around $13.18, run a stop at like 1380 and take the bigger profit down here at 10.26, your RVR is four to one, very, very good. But because we're confirmed under those levels, your chances of profit skyrocket. 
So I hope this video helped, guys. Comment any tickers you want me to go over in the in the comments section. Go check out our Discord community. And if you've been waiting this long, you can go and check out our mentorship group and our private group. So go check it out. It is completely free for the first month. Once you're in our, our free group, you just go to the upgrade section and you'll get access to all of our trades. We give it away for free the first month because we want to have you guys, number one, learn how we trade, learn and see if it can be integrated into your busy schedule, into your lives, and most importantly, to build up capital in the meantime before you're actually charged the $50 per month, which even at that, that's literally less than a fucking coffee every single day. So go check it out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.